Hello, welcome to my tech fan. Another episode about SV04 IDEX printer with two separate extruders. And I noticed that very often if I need something only from two colors from PLA, in that case I like to use it better instead of the Bamboo Lab AMS because it don't have so many waste materials. And for smaller parts the printing time is faster. But the quality is not on the top. So very often I print these uh, rotating dies for my business partners or friends. I can print here some kind of logo. And um, I want to see if I can improve the quality because sometimes I can see these lines from the oozing and uh, because uh, it has two extruders. One extruder is always waiting until the other finish the layer and during this swap it moves too slowly. So on the software side actually it needs some improvement but the software is very passive from this side. And I want to see if I can improve the quality by using the oozing shield or the wipe tower. I'll show you for the moment the regular printing method. This is recorded in real time speed. And this is speed up 10 times. So you can see that the one extruder moved to a side until the second starts with the printing. We have the silicon pads for the cleaning. That works fine. But the problem is that as you can see the left extruder starts to move very slowly. And during this time it oozed material can be sometimes be visible on the object. And we can enable it in the QR this oozing tower. It's in a dual extrusion. And here I can see that uh, oozing shield, it will be around the object. And here you can see it uh, during the printing. This is the moment during the color change and those spots would be actually on the objects now. In most cases it is easy to remove them. And here you can see now the left extruder how slowly it starts with the moving. And this is the right extruder. It starts to move faster from some reason. And here you can see all those spots would be actually on the object. In most cases they are cleanable, but sometimes uh, they will be part of the object. The removing is very easy. And now let's see the prime tower actually, or sometimes wipe tower. And uh, we can even move it. It is better if it is closer to the printed object. This is how it looks like. It is uh, hollow inside, so it doesn't need uh, too much material. And always the, after the color change, it will print this uh, line on the wipe tower. And only then it will move to the object. Like printing several objects at the same time. This is now the color change moment. And always it starts first with this uh, wipe tower printing and only then move to the object. Printed in 1 hour and 15 minutes approximately. I will compare the times later. And also I measured the weights. Uh, this was the wipe tower and this is the oozing shield weight. A little bit more than 1 gram, so very minimal. For more accurate measuring, I will measure all three objects at once and divide by three. Approximately 25 grams is the weight of one object. Let's summarize the results in this Excel table. Let's immediately move to the graphs. The printing time in minutes. Mm, yes, a little bit more with the method printing with oozing shield and the prime tower. The, it uh, was very similar in this case, but don't forget if you have a bigger objects, the prime tower will be the same, but the oozing shield will be bigger. And from the same reason, uh, you will have more waste uh, material if you have a uh, oozing shield with a bigger object. In this case, it was very similar. And for me, this is not big differences, so it is completely accepted. Don't forget, with the Bamboo Lab AMS, for this side of the object, I will have 10 times more waste materials compared to the weight of the object. And uh, this is my opinion only, the quality. So if I watch the regular printing method, I would say the 8 out of the 10. And if I use the oozing shield or the prime tower, in that case, 9 out of the 10. And quick conclusions for the end. There is no big difference in the quality, but if it is really important, and in that case, uh, one of these two methods can be used. Oozing shield and wipe tower, in this case, uh, there was very similar, the waste material and the printing time. But if the object is bigger, then the oozing shield will be also bigger. So in that case, a wipe tower is better solution because we have less uh, waste materials and a shorter printing time. I hope I could help you a little bit with my experimenting. If you have some other suggestions or experience, you know, if you like in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing.